Hello, lifers, and we are back. We are in the life. We are going to get to the main main mission, which is we don't need any of his shotgun shots. We need to get to that. Looks like the pit stop. Just had to kill anybody. Okay, I would like to, but it's not necessary. See, I didn't even get into. I'll get into this later. Lily, are you here? I do not like it. It's that. Dad. Oh, where did she go? Now imagine what I'm going through right now. So I have to hear this through like really good headphones. Like fun in, in Lily, background. it's okay. It's me. Lily's doll. She's been here. She's in trouble. Someone is chasing her. I should check out around back. See where that window comes out.
bug where I'm sitting there like trying to find a way out. Where did you run off to? Go over here and see that rogue signal them kind of go and call it up so we can it's quiet though, isn't it? Had to sound cliche but a little too quiet. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Those things will kill her if I don't do something.
It's okay, I took care of them. Please open the door. I need to ask you a few questions. Thank you. You saved me. I thought I was a goner for sure. It's okay. Calm down. What's going on out there? How am I supposed to know? If anybody should be asking what's going on, it's me. Look, I just got here. I'm even more confused than you are. Oh, yeah? What's your name? It's Sebastian. Sebastian Castellanos. Well, then you're not as confused as I am. I can't even remember my own name. I don't know what day it is. I don't even know where I am. God, what's happening to me? Just try to remember anything you can. One minute, I was in that office being interviewed by that Asian doctor lady. The next thing I know, I'm in this town I've never been to, wearing clothes I've never seen, and there's this guy who says he's my husband telling me to run. I'm not married, mister. None of this is real. It can't be. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I'm looking for my daughter. She's six years old. Her name is Lily. I, I haven't seen any kids out there. Nothing but those things. Damn it. Six years old? Oh, I'm sorry, mister. Poor thing. Being lost out there. I wish I could help you. Me too. But I'm not giving up until I find her. So you just woke up here a few hours ago? Hours? Days? I can't figure time. The last thing I remember was being in that office, like I said. What office? I needed some money, so I answered an ad looking for people to be in a sleep study. They took my blood and gave me a physical, and then that Asian lady asked me weird questions all day, and I don't understand what's happening. Does the name Mobius mean anything to you? I don't think so, but I can't remember much of anything. What can you tell me about those things out there? I don't know. All I know is that they'll kill you if they get the chance. You should stay away from them. Any idea where they came from? That guy who said he was my husband started acting all weird. He kept looking over his shoulder at something I couldn't see. Then all of a sudden, he's screaming and starts to change. Skin bubbling up. It was horrible. Next thing I knew, he was trying to kill me too. So they used to be regular citizens. What's causing them to change like this? I don't know anything. I, I can't help you, mister. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Stay in here and keep the doors locked. It's not safe out there. I'm not going anywhere, that's for sure. But thanks for saving me. You need anything from the house? Go ahead and help yourself. Thanks. I need... Tell you what, before we go any further, I'm gonna call this one an episode. Next time, guys, we will see what's going on with the the unknown voice over here. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Thank you and goodbye.